Right, so now let's get into the tutorial. So um, it's actually really easy. I kind of just showed you a bit of it there. So you probably do get it from there. But I'll show you how to do it if you don't still know how to do it. So uh, what you're gonna need is uh, some blocks of your choice. I'm gonna be using stone, a uh, pressure plate. Uh, it can be stone or wooden. I'm just gonna use wooden so I can like throw blocks on it and show you what it's doing. Uh, some redstone, some redstone repeaters, some redstone torches, some sticky pistons signs, some sand or gravel, it doesn't matter, or both as you can see in there, and some cobwebs. Now obviously cobwebs are hard to get so you can obviously just make it so it's lava at the bottom, but it's nicer and more painful, <laughs> more painful death if it's cobwebs. So um, let me throw down this uh, pressure plate and put it pressure plates and put it away so I have more space in my hotbar. Anyway, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to Behind the door, you're going to want to put a 3x3 square. It can be even bigger, but just for the tutorial, so it doesn't take as long, I'm going to do 3x3. You can make it 10x10, 10 10, you can make it 30x30. 30 30. It can be how big you want, but today I'm going to be making it 3x3. Then just dig down a couple of blocks, doesn't matter how low you do it. I'm just going to do it to here. I'm not too sure how low down that is. Let me just time the set today, just in case. I'm not too sure what the time was. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to make it that low. And uh, basically, obviously, the sound's going to go on this level, so you're going to want to um, go to the very back of it um, and put two, three signs uh, below where the floor would be. So make sure it's to the back of it. So um, it can be the two sides, but definitely not the front because that just wouldn't work. But uh, you can do this. Uh, I'd rather do the back of it because it's, um, it works easier. Uh, even though in my in the example I just gave you, I did do it on the side, but it's easier on the back. So once you've done that, you're going to want to probably just fill that with sand. So that's basically what the trap's going to be. I, you, you could just use it as a floor in your house, and people won't think it's that weird. And you can make like the ring of it as well. But uh, yeah, so now we're going to want to uh, pull the signs away. Oh god, no, wrong thing. Let me just put that back. So actually, not a good idea. So as you can see, that's what's going to happen when the when they fall. So I'm just going to leave them there. And I'm going to put stone there so I mark which ones I put the signs on. Sorry about that if I've failed this like commentary already, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so now I know which ones the, the signs are on. I'm going to want to go behind them and dig two back. So the sticky pistons, if they are like extended, they will be touching them. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. And then you're going to want to go like just a bit, I think it's two blocks, yeah, two blocks behind these sticky pistons. And put repeaters behind them. Then you're going to want to put, just run redstone behind them, and then once you've done that, go two out like this, and then lead to your pressure plate. You don't have to do it two down, but I will cover this up towards the end. And then you're going to want to go under the pressure plate, so if the pressure plate is on, oh, oh, missed it, then it'll be powered. So don't do it to the side because it won't be powered. So once, once that's done, I, uh, I'm going to probably put some repeaters because it, it, I like to delay it a bit. So put a couple of repeaters down, doesn't have to be too many. And then um, then you got to put a block down. And this is where we like kind of reverse the torch. I'm not too sure it's called, and I'm pretty sure it's got a name. But now as you can see that resin torch is powered. So that means all the pistons are always going to be powered. Which is good obviously because then the signs are always going to be there. And once I, once I put the sand block on the pressure plate, the pistons will retract and the signs will fall and so will you. So let's just put some lava at the bottom. I didn't say that at the start, but you can have a lava at the bottom, obviously. Let me just put some lava down here. And then some cobwebs, just for the painful death. And then I'm going to cover the sand on top and then we're done. See, it's that simple. Sorry if this hasn't been the best commentary, it's quite late, I'm quite tired. But <laughs> you might be able to hear my voice, but um, I wanted to get this out because I found it out myself. I was looking at them on YouTube and I didn't really find any. Whereas I'm pretty sure there will be a lot, but um, I thought, you know, I could think of my own plan. I'm pretty sure it's really easy and it is to make. Like, I just thought of this like in my head, oh, that'll probably work. Then obviously you can like make a house out of it. Uh, you can do this on multiplayer server, be easy to do it in creative because obviously it's just much easier. So basically this is what's going to happen. 
and walk into the pressure plate and the sand's gonna fall and you actually can't get out in creative I can fly out like that but it, when you're in it you literally can't get out it's like being in cobwebs and you know you can't get out of it so I'm just gonna go down even faster now so I can show you what happens so let me just make a little hole here oh god there we go so let me just make a little hole so I can see what's happening time set day um so the um the sand will in a second like go into little blocks, the little entities, yep, that's them. And then in a second they'll all fall into the lava. I'll move that so yep. Yeah. As you can see that is that is it done. That is the tutorial, that is so easy as you can see. Um really hard to do in survival because I'm not sure if you can get them with silk touch or something. But overall this is a really good trap to just to know. Like you don't have to make it, it's just a good trap to know. Maybe uh, prank your friends on a creative server. Overall this is a really good uh prank and I hope you uh, build it in your own world so thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time thanks so much for watching Full